PJ here to Star Pound 24-7. Thanks for tuning into my channel. If you're new to the channel, please go ahead, take that time, hit that subscribe, hit that like, and hit that notification bell for all my latest content to be dropped. Good evening to you all. I have a quick video for you guys because I've been going through some comments and I've been asked about some paperwork, all right? What paperwork's about upstate, all right? So I'm about to break this down to you, but before I do, I want to thank all my subscribers and viewers for your loyalty and dedication to my channel you guys have been awesome i enjoy you know your comments and you know having my back being supportive and i just want to thank you guys because if i wasn't you know I, listen i hit that 1k that was a goal i had in mind when i first started this channel i wasn't sure if i was going to make it there because i've seen a lot of channels not make it past even a couple hundred all right and i made it to a made it to 1k all right yeah it's not crazy but listen, I'm going to keep on pushing, but that was my first goal, and I want to thank you guys, man. I really, I mean that from the bottom of my heart. You guys have been awesome. So, I wanted to make this video for you guys on the paperwork and what kind of pertains to the paperwork and different ways to go about paperwork, all right? I'm going to give you a couple different scenarios, a couple different situations. So, if you're new and you're going upstate, this is very important, all right? So let me break this down, all right, with the paperwork. Say you're new to the prison system, all right? You're going upstate. You're going to want to have your paperwork. What your paperwork is, it's pretty much your resume. It's your driver's license, whatever you want to call it, all right? Your paperwork has what you've been to prison for, what you've been charged with. Some paperwork even tells what your history is. What everything that you've been arrested for is in that part, in that, in that paperwork, all right? So... You always want to have that because if you don't have your paperwork, it's going to cause a lot of issues for you. What I mean by that, say you don't have the paperwork, somebody's going to think you're in there for a funny charge. What I mean by a funny charge, anything with a sex, you know, sex charge, molestation charge, rape charges, anything like that, funny cases, you're going to be doing a lot of your time in PC. All right? PC is like solitary confinement. You're going to lose your mind. More of the thing is, don't have a charge like that to begin with and you don't have to worry. Before I get into any further, I do want to say, if I have any subscribers that have funny charges like that, please unsubscribe from my channel because I don't rock with that. I don't want no part of that. So please, it is what it is. You guys are scumbags and that's, that's the truth, all right? So anyway, you always want to have your paperwork. If you lose your paperwork... You want to get a copy as soon as possible. Now, if you lose it, this is what you got to do. You got to contact your counselor, all right? You got, everybody has a counselor inside the penitentiary, all right? Counselors are like the people that make sure you complete all your programs that, you know, you, you have to complete, you know. So they, they take care of all that stuff. You can just write your counselor and they'll send you, you know, your paperwork or whatever the hell you, you have to get your hands on, whatever your prison or your state, I should say what they consider paperwork, they will send you a copy and do it ASAP, all right? Because you don't have that, man, that throws up red flags and people start talking because people are like, it's a, it's a, it's drama, all right? People love to start stuff in prison. That's all they got to do is time and misery loves company. Let me tell you, it's, that's facts in prison. So, you know, people will start saying something, you're in prison for something you're really not and it cause problems for you and it'll escalate from there so you always want to have that paperwork don't let it out of your sight you know because i've seen dude you know want your paperwork 20 cells down and you know you don't get it back you know that could cause issues so don't just don't let it leave your sight man you know keep that on you at all times and here's the other thing say you've been on the block you know or whatever dorm for a couple months a year whatever the case may be you always want to check some of these paperwork. Uh, you want to watch the new guys that come in. You want to watch how they move. Watch how, who they associate with, how they move, what they do. Don't be grilling somebody like this, watch them like that, because that'll cause, that'll cause problems. Some of you will think, why are you grilling me? You want, what's up? What's up? You know what I'm saying? Just watch how they move, all right? Nonchalantly. Just, you know, see what they're about. See if, you know, and then, you know, make your move. Go, you know, check them out. Be like, yo, what up? Introduce yourself. What, what, you, what you're doing a bid for, stuff like that. And listen, I'm a, I learned something here, all right? You, this happened in New York State because New York State's paperwork is pretty much bland, all right? There's no letterhead, nothing like that type stuff. It's a printout, all right? So in New York State, people are starting to do, they're starting to come out with faulty paperwork, man, all right? Because there's a different example. This guy, he was from another prison, 
he had access to a computer and made some bullshit paperwork, all right? So you want to be careful of that. So you know what I do? I have my people from the outside. I give them their numbers. Say, like, dude comes on. He looks cool and all that. I want to check him out before I break bread with him, you know. Get his numbers. I call home to the wife. Be like, listen, honey, look this dude up. Go to the Department of Corrections website. Inmate lookup. Throw in the numbers. Brings up his whole charge. What he's doing his bid for. What his previous bids were for. If he has any. And tells you everything. So, listen, you want to be safe than sorry. Because you know what? If you do, you, you get cool with somebody that has some bullshit paperwork. And you'll go out to the yard or something, right? And dude is walking with you, spinning the yard. And... Listen, there's a dude out there that's from his area and knows he's locked up for a fucked up case. Guess what? You're going to be labeled as that. They're going to be like, oh, yo, he's cool with that dude like that? That means he's funny too. So, and I've seen it happen. I've seen people like go up to people like, yo, dude, homeboy right here, he got a fucked up case. You know what I'm saying? Well, what? I looked up like he showed me his paperwork. No, so you got to be careful, man. Double check everything. Try to call home. You can't look people up because it will cause problems for you. All right, you don't want to be labeled as that because then you have to fucking take care of that and that can cause more problems. It just escalates and it, it just doesn't end. So be careful. Try to look people up on the outside if you can. All right. And check people's paperwork. Paperwork paperwork is very, very, very important. All right. And the other thing is too, this doesn't really relate to paperwork at all, is you always want to be careful who you associate yourself with as well. All right. Let me tell you why. Because... You get yourself involved with a knucklehead, it brings a lot of chaos and drama to your bed. And you don't want to say what I mean by a knucklehead, somebody that's running around the dorm thinking they run the show and they really don't. They don't have a pot to piss in. They're always broke. They're always gambling, not having money. They're gambling on credit. They can't pay their debts, so their debts become your debts. It's, it, listen, don't get involved in knuckleheads. Plain and simple. Stay away from those. So that's pretty much what paperwork is. And if I missed anything, leave in the comments and I'll answer it for you ASAP. Um, it's very, very important, people. Paperwork, paperwork, paperwork. And just don't lose it. Don't let your paperwork out of your sight. And just, you know, keep it close by. Do whatever. Keep it in the pocket, all right? And then also, like I said, check everybody's paperwork. Because, you know, you want to get caught cooking with a rapo because you're going to be labeled as that, all right? Prime example, all right? One last little, little situation that took place. I was in Franklin, Franklin, yeah, I was in Franklin Correctional Facility at this time. It was four of us, it was me and my boy Steve were at, you know, playing cards at the table with this new guy and another dude that was on our dorm, right? Me and Steve were sitting there playing. We got on the subject of, like, why we're in prison, what we did to get to prison, all that good stuff. And when it came to this new guy, why he was in prison, he didn't really want to talk about it. His exact words were like, oh, I don't want to talk about it. You know, so that threw up a red flag, all right? And... So what I did was, because I, you know, we asked, well, where's your paperwork or whatever the case was. I'm trying to think, yeah. And he said he lost or something, misplaced it, or I'll go get it. I can't remember what it was. Well, he couldn't, you know, produce the paperwork. So I ended up getting his numbers, calling home, finding out he was, in, you know, he was locked up for sodomy, sexual abuse, all this crazy shit. So you want to be careful who you associate with. That guy didn't even last another 24 hours on the dorm. He was out, packed it up, and never seen him again. So that's the key, man. You don't want to be hanging out with people like that. And if you have no problem with hanging out with people like that, then you fucked up too. So I don't know. It is what it is. But um, I wanted to just get this video out there on the paperwork issue because I've had a couple people ask me about it. And I think it's very important. Paperwork is the number one thing in the penitentiary always have the paperwork i can't stress that enough and don't lose it because you know you lose your paperwork and then somebody comes and wants to see your paperwork and you don't have it it's trouble a little bit of trouble you know it's usually not too bad you know you you know break something down like yo i'm getting a couple days counselor sent it to me whatever but whatever don't lose your paperwork it causes less of a headache so that's all i got for now people if you haven't please subscribe to the channel please hit that like button do me the favor do me the solid hit that like also throw in the comments man let's keep this channel rocking keep it going help the next person that's what i'm about and you know you guys know how i end this video everybody stay free safe 
and Corona free. And you know what, people? Have a good night. Yeah.